Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Minted by Craig Squires. Before I do Minted by Quaig, Quaig, Craig Squires, um, I want to mention Real... No, I don't want to mention Real Magic Review because that's the name of this channel. I want to mention OnlineMagic.co. Go and have a look at that uh, after this, that'd be lovely. That's my online magic resource and community. 600 videos uploaded, cards, coins, sponge balls, rope, everything you want from beginner to expert and uh, the live sessions every week. And tonight we have uh, James Brown coming because we have special guests on there, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Uh, and if you're gonna make a joke about James Brown uh, being a singer, it's too easy, please don't do it. Um, now, I'm all over the place, as you can tell. I always am, and like and subscribe, because it's, it's the hottest day I can remember uh, in the UK. And I know I always go on about that, but uh, I just... <laughs> so it, I am kind of that thing in my mind of getting out of here, so I might forget part of the uh, important parts of the review. So it's very important that you comment below if I miss anything, if you have any questions, because I'll be able to pick that up on the live shows on Thursday evenings where I read your comments and answer your questions and anything I've missed, because I clearly will miss a lot. So Minted uh, by Craig Squires. Lots of people talking about this from Blackpool. I didn't make it to Blackpool. Um, I saw Craig at the session. He gave me one of these. And I'm very interested in it because I remember before I was a magician, seeing the needle through matchbox trick where, and, and someone put a needle through a matchbox and then there was a brass block in there. And it, I remember that feeling of, and I'd kind of forgotten about it, but, but since looking at this again, I remember that feeling of, that's amazing. I still have it, but it's just absolutely, you know, knackered. But this is the same trick really. And Craig says it's, you know, it's his version of it, taking it, you know, because people obviously don't have matchboxes much anymore. And, uh, and taking it into a pack of polos, which is great, isn't it? So just so you know, well, they're, they're, I'll be publishing a separate video. I'm going to try and do the video separate the, and not cut them into these so it keeps everything shorter. So I'll do that as a separate thing. So have a look at that. Uh, but I just performed it today in the uh, my hairdressers. So these are lay people. They've seen about five or six decent tricks. So, you know, they're starting to see a bit now and the guy I show it to is just so funny. That is a genuine reaction. He always does the same thing, so it looks like it's a fake reaction. He goes, looks and he goes, I do it. Oh, do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny, it's wonderful. And afterwards, he just kept saying it's going to plummet. And he got, it, it was quite funny because he kind of went, come on, how'd you do it? He, he, he turned from being, how'd you do it, to laughing. And afterwards, there was like it, there was, I said to him, it's so funny, there was like an element of threat. It's like, come on, how'd you do it? It was, it was as if that like, was serious now. And of course, I didn't tell him. So that's, that's a good thing. With tricks like this, putting a needle through a pack of polos and then there being a brass block, you know, if, you, if you're one of these people that, you know, reads all the, the do's and don'ts of magic, apparently it's got to make sense, right? It's all going to make sense. What have brass blocks got to do with polos? Nothing. That's why it's good. And don't get me wrong, magic that has logical meaning is wonderful and all that kind of stuff and I think there's a real place for it. A lot of my one-man show was about that. But I think the great pit of this is that unexpected kind of like, again, I know I bang on about it, the oranges under the cups after the cups and balls and there's people that say, well if you're using little baseballs it should be big baseballs. It doesn't make sense it's oranges. People that say that, don't, now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with people doing that and I think it's very effective but people who say that and say it doesn't make any sense and it's a rubbish trick if you don't use big but just are completely missing the boat and haven't done it because if they had they'd see the effect of that those oranges and people come up to you years later and say the oranges it's the oranges so with this I think it's the same thing it's the bra that brass thing and I decided to play this as a kind of you know putting the swords through the box and seeing it as a kid and I'm thinking, you know, I'd like to bring it into, you know, modern times. And then saying, oh, I sometimes forget these tricks because you know the new tricks that I get because they know the deal. And that bit of going, oh, yeah, and I forgot, I forgot the one thing. So I, I like that. doesn't mean it's the best way to do it. And this hasn't been really rehearsed or practiced. But for me, I like it. Craig does a puzzle presentation, which I like just as much. I think it's great. And I think you could, you could just go, look at this and then just go, there's a brass block, which is how the matchbox trick was first performed to me, and I absolutely loved it. 
uh, and ended up with it. So, and I said this didn't take much rehearsal, and it really doesn't. It's easy. You'll notice in the trick that I, I might edit a tiny bit out because I struggled to get the, the needle out, and that was just, that was lack of rehearsal because I, I turned it on its side and did all that, but I was just like, oh, and it's because I had very, very hot hands. Like I said, it's very hot today, and I just couldn't grip the needle. That's not a problem with the trick. That's just because I had my handling of it, so don't worry about that. It's easy. You're going to be able to do it straight away, but do practice it. Uh, because there are certain things you can do by accident if you're not careful. So when I practiced it with my son, when I handed him the block, I hadn't done what you have to do enough. I thought I had, and there was a big giveaway. Luckily, he didn't look, and I kind of got around it. But I think, you you know, just give it a practice. Um, I also had it in my pocket, and things kind of fell apart a bit in my pocket. That doesn't mean you can't carry it in your pocket, but again, I'm with, I've got a pair of shorts on, and, it, you know, in a suit, it would be better. But so easy to transport, but things can, you know, well, I can tell you that the polo wrapper can can slide off, which would happen with a normal pack of polos as well. So don't worry about that. With this, you clearly get the gimmick. Very, very well made. I can't see anything that you're not supposed to see. And I feel it's going to last forever. I, I can't see why not. Um, but, you know, I don't know if they've only had it a few weeks. The stuff you get with it you get basically i think it's okay to say you get you get kind of polo packets and lifesaver packets importantly because if you're from the us um you you don't get polos and that's important because the amount of stuff i've got sent with with gum and you get the gum in there and you have to do it with a gum that's clearly from america and they can't get it in england it doesn't make any sense so i'm not going to do that and i know you say you just said magic doesn't have to but I don't want to get gum out that people can't recognise if I'm purposely doing something with an everyday object. So you do get the polo, some polo wrappers and life safer wrappers to change around. You can use the ones you get with normal polos, but they're kind of easy because they're nice and new and they, they, you don't get that friction and they're going to be easier to handle. I've done this a few times now, only once filmed, and that's it, you, you can just start again straight away, really. So, so it's not like you use one polo wrapper and that's it. Um, there's a bit of arts and crafts. It took me... Hardly any time at all. You need a bit. I use double stick tape. You can use a bit of glue, or you can use a bit of normal clear tape. Um, but just to put the polar wrappers together, really, and that's again not a big process. And once you've done it, you've done it, and you might have to do it again a bit of time later. Um, but not loads. So I love it. I think it's great. It's easy. It's direct. I would have no problem performing this. I probably will performing at a gig that I've got on Saturday because I like the idea of going out somewhere. I don't have to think. It's just done for you all right it's a self-working trick pretty much um and it, it's got a lot of potential for for presentation angles you haven't got a problem you've got to suppose get be a bit careful about people looking in it and you've just got to be careful how you handle it the things don't start slipping away because you're dealing with obviously a heavy thing in a pack of polos um right so that's it love it brilliant minted by craig squires it's about 70 pound i know i always forget to do that uh, because these things are you know all as i forgot to mention as well based after the Matchbox, we had Industrial Revelation by JBD Grant. I think that's who it was by, which was great, but very expensive. These things are expensive because obviously they're not easy, they're not cheap to make. Uh, but worth every penny, I think. So look at the link below. Thank you, Craig, for giving me this to review. And again, not an affiliate link. And like, subscribe, check out onlinemagic.co, where I talk openly about all aspects of magic every week, with permission, of course, sometimes with um, if we talk about uh, released release magic tricks uh, and so if you've got any questions and you want to come to there and ask questions we can do that as well but anyway have a great one take care and thank you very very much for watching and of course if you haven't done so yet like subscribe and why don't you share it if you really like it that'll be lovely cheers